The staff, students and community of Sentiments College take honour and prize a War Memorial School. To take this day of Remembrance Day to give thoughts and prayers to those having and presently serving in the Australian Defence Force. We acknowledge the Ngunnawal people, the Ngambri people and the traditional custodians of this land on which we gather every day for school. We honour the presence of their ancestors who reside in the imagination of this land and whose irrepressible spirituality flows through all creation. We pay respect to their elders, past, present and future, for they hold the memories, traditions, cultures and hopes of Aboriginal Australia. We recognise that Ngunnawal and Ngambri history and the care the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people have given to this land for thousands of years. We remember that under the concrete and asphalt this land is, was and always will be traditional Aboriginal land. Today we remember and give thanks to those who gave their lives for us in times of war. We pray that their sacrifice may not have been in vain and that their spirits may live on in us for generations to come. Amen. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month allows us to pause for one minute and stop and reflect on the extraordinary men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for us. We live in what I believe is the luckiest country in the world and we cherish our lifestyle. And that has been as a direct result of incredible men and women who've died on battlefields around the world for us. It's difficult to comprehend what it would have been like for so many to have been called and only for some to return and how that felt for those left behind, the families, the friends, the loved ones. And we cannot forget that. Their memory is our torch and we must hold that torch high and we must pass that torch on. That is our responsibility. It's really important to me that the next generation, like my son, understands what Remembrance Day is about and that they too stop and reflect and take responsibility to pass on that torch to the next generation who then takes the responsibility to pass that torch on again to future generations because I strongly believe that that is how we will remember them. Lest we forget. So Remembrance Day to us, it means that together and individually as members of the Australian Defence Force, we remember those that have served before us. We remember friends that have died, friends that have served, and we remember the sacrifices for not only ourselves, our shipmates, but also for our families. For me, it's about remembering uh, Armistice Day, uh, November 11th, 1918. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the signing of the, uh, the end of World War One. We're commemorating the end of World War One, and uh, from that, it's yeah, falls into commemorating and remembering uh, those that have fallen, those that have served for our, our countries. I find Remembrance Day as uh, when it first started, it, it was a day to remember the Anzacs who made the ultimate sacrifice. But after that, in the conflicts that came afterwards, it's a way to remember all of the Australian servicemen and women who died in those conflicts. In Flanders fields, the poppies grow, between the crosses, row by row. They make our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scars heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe, to you from falling hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, those poppies grow in Flanders fields. Wing Commander Anderson first joined the Royal Australian Air Force in 1995 as a Ground Defence Officer. He attended the Royal Military College Duntroon and on graduation was posted as a Rifle Flight Commander at first two Defence squad Airfield Squadron and then three Airfield Defence Squadron. He's had a combination of training, staff and operational based postings across the Air Force, including four years in Malaysia and a year spent as the aide de camp to the Chief of the Air Force. Wing Commander Anderson deployed to Afghanistan in 2013 
and recently spent three years as commanding officer to two security forces squadron at RAF Base Amberley in Queensland. He is currently Deputy Director for Air Force Adaptive Culture in Air Force Headquarters. It is with utmost pride on behalf of St Edmunds College to introduce guest speaker Tim Anderson, Wing Commander of the Royal Australian Air Force. I acknowledge and honour the traditional custodians of the land, water and skies that surround us, their elders past and present, and the deep connection to country of all of our First Nations people. I also acknowledge with humble gratitude all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander men and women who have served our nation in times of peace and war, shoulder to shoulder with all who have worn a uniform in the protection of those things that matter most to us in this unique place we call Australia. At the 11th hour, on the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, the guns finally fell silent on the most devastating war the world had ever known. It was a brutal war. It was a terrifying war, and most of all, it was a costly war. Costly in the lives of the men and women who bore the brunt of the fighting and the civilians who were caught in the inevitable crossfire. It was our first war as a nation, but it would not be our last. It was also a war that did not discriminate. This war and those that followed would claim the lives of those who fought regardless of their age, their gender, their faith, their skin colour. All are equal in death. All sacrifices are equal. Like all the wars we have fought, it robbed a generation of its vibrant youth, its sons and daughters, but at the same time revealed so much about their character, their values in our nation that we can and should remain deeply proud of. And on this day, Remembrance Day, we remember them all, every single one of them. We remember their service and their courage. We remember their sacrifice and their selflessness. Today, even if only for a moment, we stop, remember and reflect on the sacrifices of our grandfathers and grandmothers, our uncles and aunts, our mothers and fathers, our sons and daughters, our sisters and brothers who served and fell in over 100 years of our history. We reflect on the names of places far away that are forever indelibly engraved in our nation's history and stamped permanently on the freedoms we each are privileged to enjoy. Gallipoli, the Somme, Tobruk, Kokoda, Long Tan, Uruzgan, and hundreds of others. St John writes, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And this, sadly, is the true essence of war, that in order to enjoy the freedoms we so often take for granted, so often it takes men and women of courage to love our nation so much that they would lay down their lives for it, for us, their friends, and for that which is right and true. There is nothing glorious about war. War is cold and messy. It is dark and frightening and ever so loud. It is unrelenting and so often for so many, it is final. And yet young Australian men and women have continually and still do put out their hand to accept the responsibility to defend our nation and its values and to, when necessary, lay down their lives in sacrifice. And so we, when we remember our fallen, we do so by saying two things. We say, at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. And then we say, lest we forget. But what does that truly mean, lest we forget? It can't be just something we say that we mutter or murmur. It must be something that we both understand and mean. Lest we forget. To put it in more modern language, it means in case we forget. It means we have to avoid the risk or chance that we might forget and the terrible consequence that that might bring lest we forget. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will make sure we remember them. We will deliberately remember them in case we forget just what they did for us, the ultimate sacrifice they made for us, the lives they laid down for us. That we can never forget. The freedoms, prosperity and security we enjoy today is a privilege that was bought with the lives of those who have gone before us. We can never let ourselves forget that. Some of those who gave up their lives for us were no different and indeed even the same age as the vibrant young gentlemen of this fine college, St Edmunds. Remember that too. They were you once. Lest we forget, 
It is a call to arms for every one of us, whether we serve in uniform or not, to know and understand the cost borne by the few, for all of us, the many. We each now have a responsibility not only to remember them, but to emulate their values to ensure the ongoing security and prosperity of this rich, ancient place we call home. We each have a responsibility to live up to the values that those have gone before us have left for us. Service, courage, respect, integrity, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. We leave these values not to make ourselves successful, but to make all of us successful, and our nation a place worth living in and passing with pride to the generations that follow us. We leave these values not just because it is the right thing to do, but to honour the legacy bought for us with the lives of the fallen, to ensure that we remember them in our actions and everyday lives, not just in our memories, lest we forget. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them, lest we forget. Thank <laughs> you.